Going to this meeting is dangerous. Going alone is downright stupid. Watch out for any sign of an ambush, okay? I will. For the record, going to this meeting is dangerous. Going alone is downright stupid. Watch out for any sign of an ambush, okay? I will. This must be the place. Keep your eyes peeled. Show me your hands. I didn't come here to play cops and robbers, Professor Kaminiuk. If I wanted to get rid of you, you'd be making your bed in a lime pit right now. I can't wait. There's a helipad with an abandoned helicopter next to the railroad. Go there. Find the button that powers it up and press it. What's that supposed to do? Blow me to bits? No. No harm will come to you. Please, indulge me. Then come back and we will talk again. Forget it, Igor. If Kozlov has something to tell you, why didn't he just say it? What are you saying? It's all an elaborate trap. They're going to stuff you into an old tire and set it ablaze. I've seen it many times before. Not a very attractive prospect, but I have to get to the bottom of this. I'm at the helicopter. Kozlov wasn't lying about that, at least. So you think you can trust him now? You can still back out, you know. Come back and we'll hunt this bastard down together. Ah!
have arrived at his last known position. It's only a matter of time before I find him. Let's see what you're made of. This is not going to end well for you. for you. for you.
Let's see what you're made of. Nuclear nano diamond battery level at 50%. This is not going to end. Nuclear nano diamond battery. Bunker beneath the helipad. Don't go in there. Please. Let's regroup and we can figure out what to do next. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, this is getting interesting. I'm losing you. Igor? Olivier, can you hear me? Surveillance equipment. Can't be Soviet. It looks cutting edge. Someone's keeping tabs on me in our little warehouse operation. But they've got everything here. My exact words, my plans. But how? Is the place bugged? Olivier, Olivier, come in. Where did you go? I thought I lost you for a second there, buddy. I found a bunch of surveillance hardware in the bunker. It must be an old Soviet facility. I wouldn't worry about it. That's not all. I also found intel about me and our mission. Someone is listening to everything we say in the warehouse. Are you certain? Maybe it's just old intel the KGB gathered on you. No, no way. The equipment looks brand new and... God damn it, Olivier, someone's been tracking our every step. We need to talk. I'll come back soon. You've seen it. I can see it in your eyes. What do you think? That's what I should be asking you. Are you spying on us? My dear professor, you have a brilliant mind for science. But reading people is not your strong suit. No, I'm not spying on you. That is the hidey hole of a rogue operative. To be honest, I only recently discovered it. I'm not sure who he's working for, but I do know who he is. Yes, General? A military man with connections to a foreign agency. Canadian, perhaps? Why did you sh- You assume correct. I have my own reasons. Helping you in this case serves my own interests. I don't know exactly why you're here, Kaminyuk. I'm not entirely sure you know either. You think you know. You have a hunch. Let's say a feeling that you're chasing. You may find it hard to believe, but we're not so different, you and I. We both lost someone. Someone important to us. Someone close. Now we're trying to get that person back. We're all just pieces on a giant chessboard, at the mercy of powerful forces. But much remains unclear, and even a lowly pawn may turn out to be a queen. Enough riddles. You think he's a Canadian? Your best buddy Olivier has been with you the entire time. He's the only person with access to you 24-7. Think about it. Set your emotions aside and you'll see it's the only logical answer. He's working for someone. NAR, maybe. If that's the case, he reports to someone higher in the chain of command even than me. But the whole operation is off the books. So there's definitely something unusual here. Otherwise, I would be the one to handle it. Let's say I believe you. I'm curious where you're going with this. Treat this information about Olivier as an olive branch of sorts. Do you think I enjoy playing the evil Colonel Kurtz in this jungle? No, I do not. 
I came here believing this would be the last assignment of my career. That working in the private sector would allow me to retire someplace nice with my nephew. Dieb. I'm his only remaining kin. My brother, his father, died in Chechnya. Instead, I've become entangled in a questionable business run by greedy corporate rats and their shady scientist stooges with a god complex. When they sensed I was unhappy, that I might leave, they took Gleb, hid him from me as part of a mysterious safety protocol. In reality, he's a hostage. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No, not for me. I've done things I'm not proud of. But Gleb, he could grow up to be a decent man. Help me find him, and I will help you find what you're looking for. Who you're looking for. This can't be a coincidence. There was a little kid, about ten years old. What? You'd better tell me what you know, or this conversation won't continue in such a polite manner. It seems a shred of human decency can be found even in the very nest of evil. Tell the man his nephew is in the village. He's still a servant of the Rat King. But maybe this will soften his black heart. A real hunter doesn't kill cubs. Tell Kozlov he can pick his kiddo up from the village, but I'm still coming after him. I don't know if you believe in coincidence, but I know where Glib is. What? If you know something, you'd better... Easy, General. He's okay. I came across him in an old bunker and freed him. He was being kept... I don't need all the details right now. Where is Gleb? I sent him to the Samrachel village. Matvey and his people are taking care of him. Igor, you truly are a ray of light in all this darkness. I'm proud to have you as my sidekick in the war against the Rat King. And proud of myself for making such a wise decision. I hope you're not playing games with me, Kaminyuk. But you don't strike me as the kind of man who'd do that. Thank you. Your sense of honor humbles me. It is a rare quality these days. This is where we part ways. I hope we don't run into each other again in... less favorable circumstances. It would be better if you just left the zone, Kozlov. For both our sakes. I wish I could, but it's not that easy. Like I told you before, we're all pieces on the chessboard. I plan to play my part to the best of my abilities. And I know you will too. Best of luck, Professor Kaminiuk.